All right, welcome back to another uh, quick installment of Julian's Random Projects. Uh, in the middle of tinkering with the power inverter and control module and Prius foot pedals, best use for a Prius part ever. In the middle of messing with these batteries, I also started messing with uh, some of these batteries. And I have a, a separate project of reviving the uh, electric tricycle that I built on the channel uh, a couple years back and the battery pack for that uh, was this guy here but eventually it uh, I made the mistake of having a BMS on that module or on that battery pack and the uh, the BMS is actually what ended up uh, causing a failure on that and having one of the cells uh, short out uh, so the electric tricycle is sort of dead in the water or at least you have to pedal Ugh. Um, and uh, it's just really slow going. It's like, even if you pedal at full tilt, it's like nine miles an hour, it's, it's, it's very slow. That thing's been sitting around waiting for another battery pack or repairing of that one. And I'm not planning on repairing the, uh, the lithium ion phosphate pack because I've repurposed it uh, to make power wheels faster and more reliable. Uh, so then I got to thinking of using the battery packs that I've already got for a bunch of the tools I have, I mean, they're 18 volts. You'd need, you know, they're 20 when they're charged up. You'd need about three of those to run the, the electric tricycle. And these come in like thicker versions where they've got more amp hours, uh, i.e. more cells inside here. And with a, a little bit of Googling around to see what these things are like when they're taken apart, like, do they do they allow you to, to draw power from here without negotiating with the tool over this pin I'm not really sure so I was doing a little bit of research and I stumbled across another guy's uh, YouTube channel uh, whose name escapes me right now but I'll, I'll put a link uh, and a little uh, clicking with the eye thing and uh, he's already done that he's got a, a he's printed some things or he's like or he set up some uh, receptacles for these guys and he's like click 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 with three of them and and, and, he's, and he's off so it can, it can be done and so I thought I'll do the same thing and then I, it dawned on me I, I usually get these things when they come in in the little packs of you know you buy an entire tool pack and it, you, it comes with a charger and a battery and stuff so the price of the battery uh, it gets kind of like lost in the sauce with the other tools and so I wasn't really sure I knew they're expensive but I know how expensive uh, and some of these things are going for 60 100 bucks a piece depending on the capacity if I need to buy three of the big ones because I don't want to put a lot of stress on one of these little ones I gotta buy three of the big ones now we're talking about $300 for a battery pack or a series of batteries to make my electric bicycle move not so much so I got to doing what I enjoy of doing in the in, in the past is uh, trolling around eBay and looking for uh, some of these that have been damaged or burnt or maybe uh, they they don't work for some reason if you get enough of them you can start to learn what some of the key failures are uh, at, or have like four or five and make one or two good ones so out of the all the broken ones so you have to buy quite a few and by quite a few I mean you know a few dozen and you start to go through and you you weed out the really bad ones like uh, what was I think one of these is like water damage to an extreme. All right, so it's the next day. I've done a bunch more testing with these and started to come come up with a few good ones out of the uh, the larger pack. And then I'm recording the uh, the watt hours out of 24. So uh, they are rated for 24 watt hours. Some of these really low ones, I might go in and replace all the cells and uh, keep the housing or the circuit board or something like that. I guess that's if I'm hard up for some um, some packs or maybe even make like a Frankenstein one where we, we use this interconnect but then we like 3D print something that holds like four times that, you know, do 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 do. I don't know. But being the next day, I've had a chance to uh, catch up on some YouTube videos and I got a comment from, a response to one of my comments from a guy named Johnny. Um, yeah, Johnny at, uh, at over at uh, try to help try to help you and uh, I mentioned that I thought that the, he, had, he noticed a discrepancy between his testing and uh, Arduino versus evils testing I suggested initially that it was Pukert's law uh, causing the, de the Delta because Arduino versus evil was discharging at 9 amps and he was discharging at a third of an amp and on 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 closer review and reading about Pukert's law, it's something I'd learned when I was dealing with sealed lead acid batteries, and I guess they don't apply very, that same law doesn't directly apply to lithium ions that are in here. Uh, but kind of, you know, like, oh, is this an old wise tale or like what? But my gut tells me that discharging at a, a lower rate might yield higher uh, watt hours out of, a, out of a battery pack. So 
Uh, going back and reviewing the math between Arduino versus Evil and Johnny's testing, uh, I think they're both spot on, at least in the in the the application. I mean, I I, I test things the the same way that uh, Arduino versus Evil does, where it's I mean, it's how all batteries are tested. It's a it's a known load over time with that battery and then you just do some ohm's law calculations and stuff and so you know we, we have things like these and we have stuff like the um like the imax b6s uh mostly because we, we don't want to sit there and do the math and we also want to kind of you know ron popeel this shit and just you know click some buttons and then come back and get your results instead of running a timer or having some old you know uh you know a digital stopwatch and, and, and monitoring it and watching it when it hits 16 volts where you know something like this or the circuitry that's built into here would cut off initially would cut off at 16 volts in, in, in the case of these battery packs that we're messing with and would do some of that work for you right so if you're watching this and you're trying to understand like how to test some of these battery packs or even a single cell right like it doesn't really matter whether it's, it's a single double a battery which uh if you're, if, you're, if you're following along at home kids and you want to you know, test the capacity for an alkaline you're going to test it once and that's it that dude that goes that goes in the trash then <laughs> you know how that type of battery goes uh, but if we're talking about rechargeable is you can test it and then charge it up and test it again charge it up and test it again and, 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 and until the cows come home so everything from a single cell up to a full pack can be tested with this method and that is you simply run your battery voltage through a known resistance and then measure with a multimeter the voltage across that battery until it reaches what you would consider dead for that battery each battery types a little bit different alkalines are different than metal ones and then lithium ions different slightly different than lithium ion phosphate etc 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 so know your voltages know your charge and discharge uh, fully charged and fully discharged voltages and, and you'll be able to stop discontinue the test and make your your notes yeah you, you saw in arduino versus evil's test that he took two roughly two data points uh at the beginning of his test and then he you know discharging over time and then uh he took another measurement at the end of his test right bam so that does not have to be there, but uh, here and here. So at time zero and at, t at time done of test. And what you what you can also do is you might have started here with um, know, 20 volts, and you might have ended here with 16. Uh, you can be really fancy, and you could do you could come in and uh, if you don't have a life, and you could you could measure, or, or if you have you know equipment that can that can do it for you, you can measure the voltage at a particular time every five minutes all the way down and that would give you a more accurate reading of the number of watt hours that are collected but you can do exactly what he did which is to add uh, the two of these together and then uh, divide them in half and then that would give you an average between the two and then time is uh, you know it's constant so that doesn't need to be messed with and so you, you would just take the amount of time it took to discharge at, a, at your known resistance, you know, or your known amperage. In his case, it was like nine amps, and you know, math. Lots of ways to skin that cat. I'm gonna try and replicate the same test that Johnny did and see. Of course, I don't, I don't have one of these Harbor Freight batteries. Everyone's, you know, you know up, up in arms about. Uh, and again, these are made by the lowest bidder. Okay, the the, the cheap Chinese batteries that are coming out of well. Uh, most, most places, but then specifically the Harbor Freight ones, they get paid for working units that come off the end of the line. And if they run out of two and a half amp batteries and somebody's got a, a, a tonnage of one and a half amp or two amp batteries, they're going to sneak, they're just going to sneak them in there, get the, the packs built and wait for somebody to complain about it later. I, I've seen it time and time again. So lots of money is spent in, in marketing, in uh, public perception, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, lawyers you get the idea the brand has to be protected and, and one of the ways that they protect that brand is through tighter input quality control on the cells the components the piece parts that are that these things are made out of if you outsource that and you just give somebody a spec and you say build me this battery pack and uh, and, I'll, and i'll pay you for it then there's a little bit of wiggle room in there right as long as nobody notices hey fine you know you know uh, best price those are some of the factors we're dealing with all right enough rambling uh let me try and reproduce uh, johnny's test using one of my own battery packs and then uh i'll discharge it at a high amperage and a low amperage and see i don't know see if it, see, see, what, see what our delta looks like no sleep till all right so once again 
don't know why this particular one feels super, super unsafe. Uh, we're about to pull a lot of current from this poor little battery. Uh, I've got a massive old uh, halogen bulb out of frame that's running in over this wire, thick gauge stuff. The original resistors uh, for my low uh, one amp draw, so it's just in addition to, uh, plus a little cooling fan for these guys, I and mean, then God help the, the, the lamp down there on the floor, uh, it'll be all right. All right, let's see. Let's see if this switch can even handle all the amperage, and let's see what we finally get, because I, I got lazy and wanted, didn't want to do a bunch of math. All right, not bad. My, the ohmic value of that incandescent bulb was a little bit off. So, all right, that seems reasonable. Same exact battery, charged, allowed to cool for some amount of time. That amount of time. Uh, let's keep an eye on it. There we go. So on uh, 0.3 amps, we got 20.6 watt hours. And on this one, on the high amperage, which was like four amps, we got something like 17 watt hours. And I know this one's still saying 13 something, but I think it takes into account this drop to zero over time. So ignoring that, we watched it I and mean, we can review the tape. Uh, on the time lapse, uh, it was like you know 17 and some change uh, watt hours. So not a huge decrease, uh, but something. I mean, it's 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 there, right? And so to to you, Johnny, if you're watching this, the I understand that the you know some of the, the uh, papers on Pukert's law say that this that lithium ion is not affected by the same thing. But in, in a practical test here, exact same battery pack allowed to be topped off and charged, allowed to cool, so there's no internal heat with the battery pack, and allowed to rest then discharge at a high amperage. And here we're, we're not at Arduino versus Evil 9 amps, which is really mean to, to these battery packs. Uh, but still, I mean, in, in, in indicative to like a, a chop saw or, or a, um, you know, a circular saw or a reciprocating saw, something like that. This, they're you know, one of these like Ryobi style weed eaters, whatever. So again, high current draw applications that you would see from the Harbor Freight tools. Here, about half that, we do see a reduction in watt hours coming out of the battery, the amount of, of what you would call your, your usable space, or usable um, capacity on that on that pack. So again, and sometimes manufacturers will talk about the battery pack being there and then the amount of usable, sometimes it's, it, it's, it's software restricted and stuff. So usable, again, it's all marketing wank. It, it, it's challenging to, to keep track of, but here we have what I, what I consider the, the closest I can come to an AB comparison between low current and high current and there's a delta, right? Uh, I, again, we're, we're running out of time, and I'm and I'm running out of beer, so I don't. Ha I'm not planning on doing this test a bunch of times. So again, small grain of salt, sample of one here uh, with this battery pack, uh, but it's a data point. So would love to see your test. Yeah, and I, I know you have the exact same type or model number of battery pack that's in question here. So would love to see this test. Again, feel free to hit me up. Happy to send this rig or something close to it that we can both test so that it's uh we're reducing the number of variables here i, I tried to use the imax b7 i have the, the the beefiest one i have only discharges at two amps and i really wanted to put a hurting on this battery so uh there's no reason you can't i don't know if this thing this is actually measures the current but one could pop this open and maybe i'll do that in a future video uh if you don't beat me to it uh, you could pop this open and replace the discharge resistor that the thing they're actually shedding off uh joules with to, to heat in here you could convert it to something like this that's a lot beefier or fuck even a uh like a one of these mamma jammas here again maybe a future video all right if you guys have gotten a kick out of uh visiting the handful of us in our workshops here and you want to see more stuff like this or uh ass hatting around in in, in the garage Feel free to subscribe and you'll get future videos coming out of Julian's random projects. Thanks. I'm hanging in, there ain't no doubt, and I'm hanging tough over and out, over and out. Over